Hello, <coughs> this is how a stepper motor is operated. This is different from a DC motor or a servo motor. Now with the kind of program and then the associated circuits, they can be used for many robotic applications. Like when we operate this, it moves this way or it moves in steps. Every time 90 degrees and this way also. This is how the stepper motors are used for various applications in intelligent robotics. Hello. This is to understand the basic function of a servo motor. Unlike stepper motor or a DC motor, servo motor has a typical function. Uh, the connections are like this. There are three wires. One is negative and one is positive and one is the control uh, wire and uh, normally the control wire will be the lightest one that is the yellow or a uh, white one and uh, positive negative are uh, red and black always negative being the black and uh, they come in uh, different shape and size maybe smaller size and slightly bigger size and uh, they have a gear arrangement on the shaft so that it can be coupled to anything uh, as regards its function actually uh, it operates between one millisecond pulse to two millisecond pulse it one millisecond pulse it will be in one uh, left 90 and in two millisecond it will be full and in 1.5 millisecond it will be half we will see that uh, once we go into the operation in a simulated manner what we will see here uh, here what we find what we have done we have taken an arrangement of taking a typified timer and of course the pin number 5 is just given a control voltage to change the frequency and uh, we have a simple stable operation here and there is a transistor which is feeding to the control pin of the servo motor we will see now how it works now uh, when uh, this is at 90 degrees that at uh, minus 90 degrees that is to towards the side and uh, when we increase this width now you can see if you see look at the scale here the scale is it's one uh, it is in one that means from here to here one division is one millisecond so you can see now it is at one millisecond and it is at minus 90 degrees now if i go on increasing the time period here what you can notice what you can notice now the time period is slightly increased here now see this has taken towards right now the time period you watch the time period is increasing and exactly at about say 1.5 millisecond now this is zero or okay after one millisecond or maybe here it is nearly 1.5 millisecond and what we find is this you can see about 1.5 millisecond or if you can change the scale maybe to 0.5 we will find that this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 so 1.5 millisecond that 1.5 millisecond is almost near zero and when we go further now when we go further to say 2 millisecond it is we go and change the at 2 millisecond what you sign precisely at 2 millisecond pulses at 2 millisecond pulses it is plus 90 come again and we will now reduce you see the motor the motor here and uh, this is having in this way and finally when it comes to 1 millisecond it will be 90 degrees and uh, that is what is the function of a servo motor further down doesn't uh, do anything we can see the pulses or we can change the scale here you can see the pulses and these are the pulses which are coming and from 90 degrees to now see the width is increasing as we go on increasing the weights you see the it, it makes only from minus 90 to plus 90 that is 180 degrees in total it can operate and this is how is the function of servo motor thank you
this is how one H bridge but comprising of a motor driver IC called L293D is used for operating two DC motors. When we operate this, we find that when the enable pin is made high and this is made zero, this rotates in this way. Similarly, when this enable pin is made high and this is made uh, zero, both the motors rotate in this direction. Now, if you want to rotate the other direction, we have to change this to this side and change this to this side. So, both the motors rotate in this direction. And you have to stop one motor, we can either make it 0, 0 or we can either make 1, 1 or we can enable pin make 0. So, in all these cases, these features are used from the program, from the microcontroller to achieve the as desired functions. And this is how a normal DC motor is used with an H bridge. We call it H bridge because this way the current flows or this way the current flows. So this is called H and in the H the central limb is used the motor so that the motor can rotate both in forward direction and reverse direction. Here is an arrangement where we have some speed control and then we also have certain direction control. So these are the methods which are possible by using H bridge.